welcome to my kitchen and a new episode of What's for Dinner. I uh, just uploaded a video about how to make your own curry powder and we're going to put that to use in this next recipe. I'm going to make a crock pot country captain and country captain is nothing more than a southern style chicken stew and it has its roots in um, East India. Um, it is said to have been one of the most favorite meals of General MacArthur and to this day actually is still included in the MRE meals that are given to the troops during the year. So I thought that was kind of an interesting factoid and um, we're going to make this now. It's really easy. What you hear in the background is um, some chicken thighs and you can use whole chicken with this if you like. But um, I have just browned off. This is a five pound package of chicken thighs. I figure if you're going to make it, go ahead and make it because then we'll have leftovers, right? Mm -hmm. And it ends up being, I think there were like 10 or 12 chicken thighs. And you don't need to cook them all the way through, you just need to brown them. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here. What we have that's going in here, that's hot. Oh, hmm? We got two cups each, chopped celery, yellow onion, bell pepper, whatever you want. I've got green and then I had a, a partial bag of these little baby bell peppers that I needed to use up and the rest of the green are out of my garden. I went ahead and topped off and two cups of carrots and you know I like these matchstick carrots. It's what I had in the fridge so that's what I'm using. So in they go. You a couple of carrots. Hmm? What? You bought a couple of carrots. Well there's more in the fridge. Mm -hmm. For the turtle, right? Two turtles. Yes, two turtles. Okay, I'll put this in the sleeve. I actually have the sleeve going on high. Um, I have four cloves of garlic that I have minced. In they go. This is optional, but it is very traditional for a country captain. Uh, it calls for currants traditionally. I couldn't find any at the store, so I'm going with golden raisins because I like golden raisins. And you could use regular seedless raisins, it doesn't matter. They add an interesting texture and sweet tanginess to the dish. I'm going to throw in... For those of you who don't know, I'm going to ask, what are currants? Uh, currants are like raisins, only they're much smaller, and they grow on a... They, they grow like grapes, um, but they're tiny little red grapes. Um, we're also going to use a cup of chicken stock, so in that goes. I'm going to use a 28 ounce can of, um, I there's, these are just ground tomatoes, but you can use crushed tomatoes, you can use diced tomatoes, it just doesn't matter. In order to uh, wash out that can, because I don't want any of that tomato goodness to go to waste, I am going to take my box of chicken stock. Give it a good swish. I paid for all those tomatoes, damn it, I want to use them, mm -hmm. right? Okay, toss them in there. And then I'll switch places with Rick one more time. I'll pull this out a little further. <laughs> That's better, huh? Mm -hmm. Remember that curry powder that we made? That's about a half a cup of curry powder, okay? That's. I'm going to not put all of it in there. I'm going to put a good portion of it in there, though, because the recipe actually calls for the whole thing. And I'm going to give this a good stir. Once everything starts to cook down, um, you give it a good stir and all of these flavors. So chicken's going to put off some juice and you can decide at this point, do I need more chicken stock? And maybe I do. So maybe just to make my own comfort level a little happier, I'm going to add some more chicken stock in there. I salt and peppered the chicken when I browned it but only a little bit because um, this is going to have some bold flavor and we want to, um, we can let everyone season it themselves once they get it going, <laughs> once they get their serving. So that may not look very special right now, but it's going to be delicious when we finish up with it, okay? Um, yeah, I think it's going to be great. You're going to serve this over some steamed or just cooked rice, and um, and that's what we're going to have for supper tonight. So, I have my crock pot on high. I'm putting the lid on it. I'm just going to set it over here, and I'm going to let that cook for four or five hours. It is 
215 right now. I'm going to shoot for four hours. I'm going to say that's going to be really done because my, um, my crock pot is hot. It runs really hot. So when it's time to serve this up, we're going to come back and fix you a delicious dish of Country Captain. Okay, we're back and it has been several hours and our Country Captain is now finished and ready to serve. Um, I actually took a spoon out for my rice and then I think I, in my haste, put it back in the drawer. It's been that kind of day. Okay, so we're going to serve this with some rice. And now I'm going to come over here. And um, I did get a taste of this. And it, it really is nice. The girls and I actually gave it a taste earlier. And I'm just taking the skin off of it because I don't want to eat the skin. And I'm sure no one else does either because it's kind of uh, slimy now. Oh, it smells amazing. With that curry powder and all those spices and these veggies, it's fabulous. This may not bother you, but it bothers me. <laughs> the only other thing that this would traditionally be served with is a sprinkling of chopped green apple. This gives it a little zing, a little crunch, a little fresh taste. So that is Country Captain for your crock pot. You can also make this by browning the chicken off on the stove and throwing the vegetables in after you remove the chicken, saute those up, put the chicken back in, put all the liquid in there and put it in the oven. You don't have to have a crock pot to make this, but it sure does make it a lot easier because a crock pot you can just walk away from and you don't have to worry about one little thing. So, you also don't have to put the chopped apple on the top, but I'm game to try it because I think it'll probably add a nice little extra something to it. I hope that you try Country Captain and I hope that you love it. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today and until next time, I'll see ya. <laughs>